the index numbers. The index number. Here we look at the uses of index number, the types of index number, problems encounters in the construction of an index number, and the method of constructing an index number. What are the uses of index number? So, index number typically are indicator which reflect the relative changes in the level of certain phenomena in any given period. Any given period here, yeah, it could be specifically maybe one year or thereabout, called the current period with respect to each value in a, some fixed period. Those periods in index number, we we'll call it the base period. So, so in index number analysis, we we'll have two set of period. Uh, one is the current period, so the next is the base period. So the current period, the, the, the happiness in the current period is normally, you know, examined, you know, in relative to the base period. So the phenomenon of variable under consideration here are normally prices, the volume of trade, factors of production, agricultural production, uh, import, export, shares of sales, national income, uh, which construction, bank deposit, foreign exchange reserve, cost of living of people, and so on and so forth. These are some phenomena we normally check when we talk of index number. So the uses of index number now. So index number are used to measure what parts of an economy. When you talk of parts of an economy, you are talking of the performances of an economy. How are uh, economy performing over time? From where did this economy adjusted back? What are the changes? in this economy and how is the trajectory of this economy. Uh, it is also used to study the trend and tendency. Uh, when you talk of trend, you are talking of this, the growth of an economy. What are the trending growth of this economy? Is the economy growing downward or growing in zigzag shape? What is the trend? What is the trend? Uh, trend of an economy performance is normally used for projection. So without knowing the trend of an economy growth or any economic indicator, uh, projection or prediction or forecast of such economy uh, may might be possible. So index number are also used for deflectors. Deflector. Deflector is normally done when you want to reflect influence of inflation in prices. In, in prices. So if you are if you are measuring performance in any sector without taking into cognizance the, the influence of price changes, it means you are dealing with a nominal measure. So but as soon as you deflected a nominal measure for the influence of uh, prices, you are talking of uh, a deflator. For instance, a GDP that is measured removing inflation influence is a GDP deflator. So GDP deflator is one measure of price level again in an economy. So uh, index number also help us to formulate a decision and policy poli uh, policy uh, uh, you know, you know, instrument. I've said that, that six index number are simple measures where you try to measure the performance, the pulse in an economy, it means that index number helps us to know how much the economy is performing. And by knowing how much the economy is performing, you could inform uh, an informed decision on how the economy is run. It measures also the purchasing power of money. Yes, since index number has to deal with prices, it means that with index number, the purchasing power of money could as well be determined. So what are the types of index number? Index number here may be classified in terms of the variables they are measured. Uh, they are generally classified into three. One is price index number. Price index number, as the name implies, you know, measures prices. So the most common index number here is the price index number, which study the changes in price level of commodities over a period of time. Here, there are two types of price index number. Number. We'll have the wholesale price index number here, and we'll have the retail price index number. Wholesale price index number here, you know, look at the changes in general price level of the economy, commodities in the economy, in terms of the listing. Why the retail price number change? Look at the changes in the retail prices of all 
commodities in, in the economy. So they are normally constructed for different classes of what consumers uh, 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 goods. So, so the next is the quanti quant uh, quantity index number. Remember, we say price index number and the quantity index number. This reflect the changes in volume of goods and services in an economy. The goods that are produced. What are the changes in goods that are produced in the entire economy? So the la the another one is the value index number. Value index number. This reflects the changes in total value of prices. Uh, that is price times quantity. E.g., uh, index number of profit or index number of uh, revenue. So all these are the. So what are the problems we can encounter when we are talking of index number? So the purpose of index number here, yeah, the most. First of all, we must be careful to define what general purpose and index number represent. So, first, the selection of this year matters. The selection, remember that I told you that in trying to measure index number, we have two periods, the current year and the base year. So, the base year, the current year is measured in comparison to the base year. So, it means that in choosing the base year, one must be careful. If you choose wrong base year, it means that your comparison of the late period may be uh, in error. So typically, index number of a base period is normally taken to, to, to 100. It's normally based on 100. So it means uh, the current year changes times the, the base year changes times 100 over 1. So another one is selecting the commodities. Remember that in we, we've been able to classify different types of index number, the price index number, and the retail index number. As a price index number, major changes in price and retail index number, major changes in retail and uh, other one major the changes in volume. It means that selecting commodity to measure matters. So wrong selection of commodity affects an index number. So data for index number again is another key. Data. Data to be used must be reliable. If you use unreliable data, it means you arrive at a wrong or biased measure of an index Number. So type of average again matters. Since index number is all arithmetic, geography, or geometric average, it means that uh, it matters to check the average. So choice of formula again matters. Remember, we we'll have different types of uh, measures of index number. We we'll have Las Vegas index number and name them. So which one you use matters a lot. So the system of weighing. Since index number is always times by 100, so it means it carries on weight. So, and the choice of weight matters in index number. So, method of constructing index number now, we we'll said the simple aggregate method. That is the weight method. The weight method. So, this is aggregate of what price in current year uh, as a percentage of what aggregate price in the base year. Index number is all about current and base year. So, if you check the aggregate price of uh, a commodity in the current year divided by the aggregate price in the base year times 100 over 1, you are talking of simple aggregate method. So, but weighted aggregate method, in this method, appropriate weight is assigned to various commodities to reflect their relative importance. For instance, uh, if different commodity has different weight, and how do you weigh a commodity, the, the value of this laptop may be different from the value of this one, and the value of this one may be different from the value of this chair. If you want to bring all these commodities into an index number, it means that you are going to be adding this one due to its weight in terms of market value and the weight of it. So you must uh, kind of incorporate those weights into your index number. So these are so many ways you could as well you know, calculate index number. So by using different system of uh, weighting uh, in order to overcome that, so uh, you, you do that. So we have different types of index number uh, like this the uh, dogish uh, uh, price index number we we'll have a last price uh, uh, price index number or base year index number and we we'll have different other types of uh, index number 
So, so the index number you calculate or the, the, the type of index number applied depends on the type of data you are working on. So, so far, so good. We've been able to discuss a number of things. We started with uh, 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 how do we compute uh, hypothesis testing, how do we test hypothesis, how do we determine, how do we take decision room. From there, we've been able to touch on regression analysis, what regression analysis is all about, what types of data we always uh, use for regression analysis, how do we measure regression analysis, what parameters are important in regression analysis, and lastly, we've dealt with index number, what is an index number, we'll be able to discuss the differential of index number, and some of the types of index number, the way we construct index number, and likely problems we encounter in index number. So this will be our class for today. Thank you.